when we started, we were in, on the first floor for the first year, and um, the general atmosphere was rather strange, I think, in a way, because it was very hard. There's all these um, rather strong strip lights above us, which were sort of the way places were lit in those days, and um, it was all rather bare. It was a sort of hierarchy that the higher you went up in the school, the, the, you ended up in this very nice atelier on the top where you looked at, at the hospital one way and the back of the slade in the other. But Gosh. it was essentially very personal space and yes. there was no, no problem about being there 24-7. Being there and because you had a key to the door off Gower Street, it meant you were completely autonomous. You had control of your space where you worked for a year and you could personalise it and... Uh... It was open house and yeah. there was certainly mm. no, um, oh, yeah. no control of who came or went. No. Oh, when I got there in the late 70s we were in um, Waits House which is, I can only describe really, as it was, looked like a spec office block but it did have some very good facilities in the basement, there was an artificial sky, uh, various laboratories and, and um, a good light on the top floor but I think our disrespect for that space allowed us to experiment a lot with it. I can distinctly remember uh, one, one fairly drunken evening, probably we went back in there and painted the staircase in primary colours. I think we'd just been on a trip to the Pompidou Centre or something. Um, an act of vandalism for which we should probably have been expelled or something, but we somehow got away with it. We got hold of over the coals for defacing university property. And um, Casey took some of us aside afterwards and said, what you lot did was nothing. You should have seen what Prof did when he was a student. <laughs> <laughs>